Welcome my good smelling friends, Ify here. Today I want to show you 11 of my cheapest and strongest fragrances in my collection. Why 11? Because one of them, even though it's not that strong, it made it to the list because I think it's, I think it deserves being in this list and you'll see why. But before showing you the fragrances, I know you're anxious to see the fragrances, but bear with me because I want to explain something first. The fragrances I'm going to show you are not just long lasting or strong. They are also good smelling, okay? So if in the past I made a video where I've shown very strong fragrances which were not necessarily pleasant, now I'm going to say I'm going to show you just the ones that smell nice. Second of all, I've put the cap of the price at 25 pounds. And third, and then we're gonna get into the fragrances. When I'm talking about strong fragrances, I'm not just referring to long lasting, okay? This is a fragrance that lasts long, okay? Roberto Cavalli Uomo. But you don't know it lasts long unless you check it. You check the place where you spray it because even this lasts long, it will sit close to the skin. Okay, so we want fragrances that are strong, not just long lasting, but also that will project strongly. And also that smells good, like I said previously, because if they weren't supposed to smell good, I would have placed this again, maybe number one or second, because this is still one of my strongest fragrances my, in my collection. Rassasi Afshan and it's cheap also but it smells like a very old lady another example would be Ford Mustang performance which is also very strong but it's very synthetic which helps with the performance but smelling it up close it simply hurts my nose but again I just want to show you fragrances which are nice and good smelling overall and strong so let's begin. Number 11 and this is my special entry into this list. It's Jovan White Musk. I've placed this in the list even though it's not a beastly performing fragrance. I placed it because this is an Eau de Cologne which is a even lower concentration than Eau de Toilette but it stays on my skin for 8 hours and it constantly projects. And for that reason, I've placed it in the list. And not only that, this is also very, very cheap. There is one more thing. I have placed the fragrances based on performance, then smell, then anything else. Okay, so the most important criteria was the performance and then the smell. At number 10, it's Aldal Zafran Oud. 24 hours and here I'm going to speak in the name of multiple Middle Eastern fragrances in the same genre as this one. I mean with notes and ingredients for winter, you know, like heavy notes, sweet notes, woodsy notes, those kind of fragrances. If you search for them into these Middle Eastern, affordable Middle Eastern brands, you're going to find fragrances which have a decent strength like this one this lasts at least eight hours on skin and it pushes easily towards the 10th hour mark and it also projects I'm not going to talk about how the fragrances smell I'm just going to let you know how they project how they how much they cost how well they perform so this is around 10 pounds 10 to 12 pounds but again at this price point you can also find other Middle Eastern fragrances such as this one which also have the same amount of strength or even better. I would have also added 24 gold into the list because this also performs great but the price of this differs so much. I mean in UK you can find it cheap but in other countries especially in Romania it's not that cheap so you can definitely in other countries it's very hard to pick this up below 25 pounds so that's why i did not mention this one at number nine is one of the cheapest in the list it is antonio puig quorum silver this lasts around 
9 to 10 hours on skin, but it projects so nicely. Very aromatic, woodsy aromatic fragrance. Very, very cheap for what it offers. And it does have a name of its own. I mean, when you say quorum, you know what you're talking about. And for this price, this performs very well. At number eight, another big brand, Zeno by Davidoff. At number seven, one of my best blind buys of this year, Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. Highly woodsy fragrance, which goes to 11, 10 to 11 hours. But the biggest strength of this strong perfume is its projection. It projects like crazy. For this reason, it made not only the list, but it beat the other fragrances. At number six, one of the classic, strong, cheap fragrances, Nautica Voyage. I mean, even after the reformulation, this is still a strong perfume. And this is a fresh fragrance, guys. It lasts over 10 hours on skin. It projects a lot. Again, it's a fresh fragrance, guys. So cheap, so unique. At number five, again, a fragrance which you either love or hate. I love it, that's why I keep showing it. JS Xteman. It's still in a cheapies list because this fragrance is still going for cheap. And this lasts over 12 hours on my skin. It projects very nicely, a lot. And again, it smells very nice to my nose at least. At number four, in the same genre as number five, it's Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. This fragrance sits at the edge of that 25 pounds cap. You can easily find the 50 ml size bottle at this price. And guys, even though you're not going to get 100 ml size bottles for these 25 pounds, you're still going to get a lot of strength coming off out of that tiny little bottle because you don't need to spray a lot of these juices to get you know to get you going throughout the day so you don't need like a big bottle and this is a very strong perfume in the opening it can actually be overwhelming and it will definitely fill up a room when you spray it at number three of course we have if you are talking about cheap fragrances cheap strong fragrances you have to have at least one Jacques Bogart fragrance in that list because this is a powerhouse especially this one Jacques Bogart Couron this is I think from what I've tested from this house this is my favorite this not only lasts beyond 12 hours easily it goes to 14 15 hours it also projects and it will, it will also stick on clothes that will smell the next day and the next day. As number two, guys, is one of the best projecting fragrances out there. I'm not talking about just this list. I mean, out there amongst all the fragrances and not only the cheap ones. This is Club de Nuit, Intense Man. And let me tell you, a real story that happened recently. I've made a decant of this fragrance, gave it to one of my colleagues. He's been wearing the fragrance and I can smell him at work from 10 to 15 meters away. It's that beastly when it comes to projection. Okay, so this is not just long lasting. The main strength of this one is the projection. And I think this is where this gets its, its success from, from its strength, not only because it smells very close to Aventus. And now guys, at number one, it's something that you don't know about. I didn't know about it up until this year recently when I received it from another fragrance reviewer, which has a channel, Toiletarian, which goes by the name Naz, or I think it's his name shortened. This is what he sent to me. And if you take a quick look at this, you can actually see that it's highly, highly concentrated. Not only that, but it's also very thick. I would have shown you these two and I would have said that they are both number one because they are both equally strong. 
but this one I've checked the prices recently of all these fragrances so they are still in that cap of 25 pounds and I've seen that this now goes for around 30 pounds this is Persian Assassin and this is Persian Garden and this goes for 25 pounds I think this is 15 mil yes and you need just one spray of this and I do recommend Naz if you're watching this to change the bottle or at least to change the tube because it's so thick that when you spray it it's going to release a lot of this high concentrated juice and you don't want a lot of this so that's why I'm saying if you buy in this format in this bottle design just one spray or even half a spray and spread it and definitely don't spray on clothes okay guys so these were my 11 strongest fragrances strong and cheap fragrances in my collection of course I have other strong fragrances but we have to go up in the budget and if you want to see those other fragrances if you want me to go up with about 25 pounds and go for 50 or even a hundred pounds I can definitely show you some more strong perfumes let me know in the comments below if you like this type of videos I know you do but leave a comment anyway or leave some suggestions on how would you want me to do these videos I think what I did today was fair enough and was a budget not only budget but nose oriented video as well until the next video guys keep smelling great